I'm going to come out the gate and tell you I'm a very fertile woman. In fact, if it wasn't for birth control, Automatic and I would be pregnant every nine months. Okay. However. How, how Mexican of you. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly, right? We'd be, I'd be having some babies. But here's the thing. Not everybody is that lucky. You know, children are a blessing. Some people have to undergo IVF, in vitro fertilization. That's what this WTF story is all about. Sounds like a sprinkler system. (laughs) IVF, isn't that what Kim and Kanye do? Yes, yes. So so they do it for a different reason. She can have babies because she gets very sick. This couple we're going to talk about is uh, having trouble just getting pregnant. So they go to a clinic and they spend $100,000 on Um, taking his eggy and, or her eggy, rather, in his spermie and putting them together. And then they, they place that baby back in her belly. And she's like, oh, I'm pregnant and it's twins and everybody's excited until she gives birth to white babies. And this is an Asian couple. No! What? <laughs> what happened? Kind of like when you go to uh, McDonald's. They put the wrong babies in her? They yes. put the wrong babies in her. Oh, my. Were you going to say, like, getting your McDonald's yeah, order wrong? Like, whatever no. You're, whatever. no. It is. It's the same That's thing. a really bad analogy. All you got to do is just swap, swap. No, this is a lot more serious than forgetting your fries. So she said, first of all, we knew. Don't that you ever forget my fries, dude. <laughs> first of all, she said, I knew something was wrong because we were told that the babies were supposed to be girls. And immediately when we found out they were boys, I was like, wait a minute. And the doctor's like, no, nah, everything's cool. Uh, upon giving birth, the woman realizes they're white children. They're not Asian. These are the wrong babies. Even worse, they make her give these children back to the parents. Oh, my. And, and they don't know where their egg and sperm is. They lost them. This isn't in a WTF. This is an OMG. Like, what? <laughs> this is so, a nightmare. So she carried these babies for nine months, and but now they're she not has, her baby. But then she had to give them away. Well, yeah, because they're not her baby. Well, finders keepers, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't find them. They were placed there. Did so she get anyway. a freebie on the next one? A freebie? How they don't even have the egg and sperm is gone. Would well, you, they can get some more. Would you go back to that place? No, you're right. No. I'll give you another drive-through. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll circle around a drive-through. But if it's a baby. I, I'm no longer your customer. Don't get your lab babies from Groupon, y'all. Yeah, for real. So either way, it looks like the whole uh, place has been shut down. There is an investigation. It's a big either either <laughs> way. <laughs> this woman carried these children for nine months I and she know, had to give them horrible, away. This is the saddest WTF we've ever done. Well, it actually happens about four or five times a year. Oh. So I'm sorry to make you even more sad. But like you said... Check out your facilities. Don't go for the Groupon because you're exactly right. They wanted to save money, and this place was having a sale. (laughs) (laughs) Surrogates for nonprofit. I love it. (laughs) That's your WTF story, y'all. It's the Dana Cortez Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back with more coming up next.